All right. This is our spot for two days. We are coming up to see the cliff dwellings. And I hope I pronounce this right in the Gila, Gila National Forest. This is where we're at right here, right now. And this is uh, our spot. It's a boondocking spot, completely free in the National Forest in the Gila Mountains. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We got it. We have to check that. Um, we'll ask somebody later. But yeah, here it is, man. There's a few other people here that we had seen when we pulled in, but just a couple and they're so spread out, you can barely hear or see them. Just another amazing spot. And this is completely free. You stay here for 14 days. All right, now we're going to uh, get ready to head out and go check out these cliff dwellings. All right, let's go check out the Gila cliff dwellings. We have learned it's pronounced with an H, not a G at all. Um, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Gila. It's the Gila cliff, cliff dwelling. This is a one mile loop hike, right mom? Yep. Unfortunately though, there's, like they said, about 600 stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing mom did like triple that in a cave with an eight month uh, pregnancy. Yeah, that's true. But she was pregnant. Um, so Whoa, okay. I think we'll be all right. I think they might have got water from here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're up about what, 6,000, maybe 6,500 yeah. ish, somewhere in there. Yeah. So it is chillier up here. So we might encounter ice and it hasn't had a chance to thaw from overnight. But we're from up north, so. Yeah, yeah the parking was frozen too when we hiked it. This is not really, not really that cold. too bad. Me. Oh. Okay. Here they are. I got peace out. A little ways to go, but uh, we're almost there. Yeah, we really are. All right, we made the top. Oh, it's actually good. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not that bad. Mm -hmm. There's some really nice spots you can stop and take a break and catch your breath and take oh, a yeah. nice picture. Right here, perfect. Rice. What'd you bring with you? I bring rice. You brought some rice. How I'm many? How many grains did you say you brought? One thousand two. One thousand two grains some. of rice you brought with us. So we can eat. So we can eat. Just like they used to back in the day, Isla. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So I like it. How do I bring the best with me? How'd you like this to be your house, Isla? I would not like it. No? No, thank you. You can actually get up here, so. Very neat. And they say the black is from soot. Yeah, from fires. From a long, long time ago. Yes, I would actually like to live in here. I actually like to live in here. Mm -hmm. Look Okay. What do you think? Nice and easy. Yep. Yep. Careful. One of those. 
It looks like bird poop. Hmm. With seeds in it? Look at that. Ew. Look up there, Isla. Got me some cake. See that? Remember you said how'd they build it? Yeah. Look at it. A bunch of rocks. And mud. And a bunch of mud or clay, whatever they had. And then they put it all together and it hardened up. Wow. Ain't that cool? Wow. Oh, yeah, let's check it out. Dang, that's cool. I know. Imagine living in this. I told you I would go into a room like to live in this. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad cave, would it? All that black is soot from the fires they had hundreds of years ago. Yeah, can you imagine how many fires it took to make this ceiling like that? They say it's all soot from leftover fires that they had over 700 years ago. This would have been a room. Maybe down here would be your little fire pit, maybe. Now I'm back at 38%. Maybe it was the Indian girl. I don't know, that was weird. That was weird. Okay, that was weird. I'm not even gonna lie. That was weird. Uh, yeah, I'm back at, look, 36% now. Yeah. When I was in there, it went from 17 to like 6. And then I shut it off, and now that I'm out here, it's back at 30. 36%. That's what they say. <laughs> they take energy from your electronics. Okay, so Dad, I, I didn't didn't see nothing. Dad had a ghost. Dad um, seen a ghost. The spirits of the few uh, cliff dwellings were taking Daddy's camera energy. I think they might have used some camera energy, yeah. and I got it back when I left out of there. Yeah. Insane. That is weird. Very weird. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that was very cool. Very cool. What do you think, ladies? I loved it. I like. I like ghosts. They're still here living there. <laughs> We are walking back down now to finish the Junior Ranger program and get some badges. So make what, like 10 or 11? This will make 10. 10. Number 10. Dude, that's the weirdest thing with the battery. Oh my that is goodness, weird. dude, that's so weird. All right, let's hike back down and go get some badges. Let's do it. Badges, cool. I collect them too. I, yep. do, it. I do it myself. This is our tenth badge. Wow, way to go! All right, put your hand up and repeat after me. I am a junior ranger. I am a junior ranger. I protect the parks from danger. I protect the park from danger. I will not pick the plants. I will not pick the plants. I won't step on the ants. I won't step on the ants. No animals will get my food. No animals will get my food. And I won't litter. And I won't litter. Because that's rude. Because that's rude. 
I'll be nice to my sisters. I'll be nice to my sisters. <laughs> Help my parents. Help my parents. Brush my teeth twice a day. Brush my teeth twice a day. <laughs> and be a good junior ranger. And be a good junior ranger. And hope to be a regular green and gray ranger one day with a flat hat. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the flat hat? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have that one on, but I have it at home when I wear my green and gray. Man. All right, way to go. Good job, ladies. <laughs>